Welcome back. In February this year, economic freedom fighters leader Julius Malema claimed that South Africans are to blame for the poor conditions under which they live because, he said, they keep on voting for the same old party. We spoke to Julius Malema about his views and his election campaign. Julius Malema, let's talk some about uh, the controversies that have dogged your movement over the past few uh, weeks uh, uh, as campaigning began in, 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 in its earnestness. Um, are you calling for an Arab Spring in South Africa when you say um, we want to see more protests in South Africa? Our people must begin to speak for themselves. Leadership has abandoned them and therefore they are their own liberators. Uh, they have been to every uh, channel uh, available to them and uh, there hasn't been any result. So in a, in a situation where 20 years into democracy, they still find themselves in such conditions, they have to do something. And uh, we shouldn't be threatened by protest justice. It's protected by the constitution. It is their democratic right. They must do it. They must do it in a dignified manner. They shouldn't uh, ban uh, buildings, they shouldn't intimidate people, but no one should stop them from protesting. Well, you're, yeah, there's a picture doing the rounds on Twitter and in newspapers where your uh, party is seen delivering uh, tires uh, to people in Hebron in Pretoria. That's, that's direct provocation and fueling, the, fueling these protests. Sometimes pictures lie, my brother. Don't just see a picture and conclude. The police actually opened a case against the person who was driving the buggy. But the leader and then, of, and then of the later, EFF in, in Hebron, Mr. Muhulazi, said, yes, it's our truck. He was one of the people on the truck. And he says, we took the, the tires from one section of the township and delivered to people me, on the let, other let side of the township. Let me give you the facts. I mean, we're here to share information mm, let's share. with our people. The guy was charged by police, mm -hmm. accused of carrying tires and distributing them in the township, only to realize that actually they were removing tires oh, as now. they were entering the township. And I, I'm telling you now, the charges have been dropped. They were, they were, they, you want me to believe that, oh, you know, on the day of the protest, an EFF car arrives and says, oh, we're going to clean up this place, when you're calling for people to protest. Then it, you don't believe police. Then you don't believe the law enforcement. The law enforcement have dropped charges against him because it, evidence was very clear that the man was not... Uh, inciting violence. We are going, you were in London at the time, you said we are going back to the ANC in December when Jacob Zuma is kicked out of the ANC. He wasn't kicked out, he was retained by a 74% majority. And so um, you stayed out of the ANC. Is it possible for the EFF and for yourself to go into alliance with the ANC after the election? Let's deal with that when we uh, arrive at that point. I don't think that... Uh, the EFF uh, is ready to go into any alliance with anybody. We are preparing to take over government. Unlike Holomisa, we are not contesting to be an opposition. We call ourselves a government in waiting. So we don't think about such things. We are now preparing which one can be a DG, which one uh, can hand intelligence, such stuff. So not mm -hmm. alliances because our people have shown confidence in the EFF and we think that will take over Would this you government. be prepared to sit down with ANC leaders if President Zuma was not part of that team? The ANC has sold out as completely as a body, and not only President Zuma. Uh, and therefore, we have introduced an alternative. And this alternative is an alternative to the ANC, which has failed poor masses of our people. So we are not prepared to go back to the ANC, especially myself as an individual. I've ceased to be Julius Malema. I'm an EFF. I'm a working EFF. In everything else I do, I represent EFF. Just on that point, I mean, five years ago, you were saying you're prepared to kill for President Zuma. So what went wrong? At which point did this enmity and this, when, what, which point did you move apart? Well, look, uh, the marriage didn't work, and uh, we went separate ways. Uh, and uh, even when we were still in the ANC, fortunately, some of the things that we were raising ourselves, we raised them when we were in the ANC and said, we are moving away from our people and we seem to be obsessed with the uh, uh, benefits of political elite and uh, we have replaced the weight people with investors. And, and we think that we must go back to the basics and address the concerns of our people. And uh, the ANC became uncomfortable with us 
and they were shown the door. Uh, as disciplined members of the ANC at the time, we apologized, we begged, and you reach a point where you say, look, I've tried everything, now I move on with my life. I've done that, I'm not looking back. Once beaten, twice shy. Helen Zeller says that she believes that the ANC is going to get 60% of the vote in this election. How do you think your party will perform in this election? I don't listen to Helen Zeller. Who's Helen Zeller to tell me what is going to happen in the election? Uh -huh. She has got no capacity. Tell, tell me what your capacity is. Uh, my is capacity is government in waiting. I will acquire the necessary percentage for me to be government. Absolutely and more than that. So any percentage, remember, that it's not only 51% which gives you uh, the power to be government. Mm -hmm. You can get less than that, and no one get an absolute majority. Go we go into a coalition, the, and the, the EFF DA becomes perhaps. government. No, there are many uh, parties in South Africa. I mean, uh, uh, we'll deal with those issues after the elections. For now, let's consolidate our base, and we need to know what type of mandate are we getting from our people. So are Helen Zile is a complete failure. I mean, if... You, why is she contesting elections? Why are people following a person who says, I've lost even before I arrived there? But let's move on. You're launching your manifesto this weekend. What is it going to say to the people of South Africa? That's a victorious manifesto. It's a product of consultation with uh, taxi drivers, um, uh, petrol attendants, waiters and waitresses, farm mm. workers, You've got one minute. Workers, what is it going to and, say? And uh, it will express the interest of those people. We are not launching manifesto here in your show, and therefore we can't tell you the contents of the manifesto. Are you going we to call announced. for nationalization of the mines? That's non-negotiable. After the break, we ask why TB Joshua is so popular and whether he can cure HIV and AIDS.